we're going to look at the universal gas constant and we're going to show that the universal gas constant R is equal to the specific heat capacity constant pressure CP minus the specific heat capacity constant volume CV. So to help us do this we're going to heat a mass of gas uh, from T1 to T2 and its volume is going to change from V1 to V2 and its internal energy is going to change from U1 to U2. So to do that the heat required uh, from the definition of specific heat capacity will be equal to the mass of the gas times the change in temperature. Because the specific heat capacity, Cp, is the amount of energy required to heat one kilogram, there's the mass, of a substance by one degree Celsius. So there's the change in uh, temperature. Okay, previously we've shown uh, in a different video that the work done on a system is equal to pressure times the change in volume. So the volume has changed uh, from here to here, V1 to V2 in this in this example. Okay, so from the first law of thermodynamics, the change in internal energy is the heat done minus the so heat provided minus the work done. So the change in internal energy is U2 minus U1. Um, the heat is from this equation here, and the work is from this equation down here. We know from the uh, ideal gas laws that pressure times volume is equal to MRT. So P1 V1, P1 V1 is equal to MRT1, and P2 V2 is equal to MRT2. So I can substitute that in here. So this expression now becomes MRT2 minus T1. I also know that the change in internal energy, and this is from a previous video, change in internal energy is equal to MCV times T2 minus T1. We now have M on both sides and we have T2 minus T1 on both sides. So if we cancel out, we get uh, CP here minus R is equal to CV. And just rearranging that then I get CP minus CV is equal to R. So that is showing us that the universal gas constant is equal to specific, specific heat capacity constant pressure minus specific heat capacity constant volume.